Cootie Beauty is not a nice person. She doesn't care about her pets, her boyfriends, husbands, marriages in general. <laughs> well, the question is if she's even married, but anyways, they are hella shady. And for example, her financial literacy is on level minus 9000. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm richer than you. You are richer than me, but the second you get your money out of YouTube, um, we all know where they end up. <laughs> What is this business? So yeah, we all know all of this, but I believe that nobody knew that there is almost identical influencer to Foodie Beauty. This woman. This influencer, this woman from my country, from Czech Republic, and I'm not really proud of that we have these bizarre people. <laughs> so anyways, this is a shopaholic Adele. She's 30, 31 years old. And I'd say that this woman is known by the entire Czech Gen Z uh yeah, yeah, Gen Z, <laughs> Gen Alpha, and even people older than Gen Z. She was really famous. She's almost like the exact copy of Foodie Beauty, except that you will put the slider of weight all the way to skinny. <laughs> she also abused her pets, which resulted in three out of four being already unlived <laughs> by her. <laughs> this is this is word unlived. Her relationships with people, especially with her boyfriends, are also shady, a lot shady. And when it comes to the final literacy she's maybe even worse a quick example of that would be her receiving a free apartment from her family from her mother i believe which was worth a uh, hundred thousand dollars and she sold it for 50k <laughs> nobody can be that dumb like apartments go only up not down her peak was basically like a year maybe a year and a half ago and now she's basically almost like a homeless well not anymore every week there's something new <laughs> i can keep up but still she's almost like a homeless compared to her peak where she earned even over a five thousand dollars a month for almost nothing but we'll get to that i have here my script uh script 10 out of 10 <laughs> okay i forgot to add here what content she does for example here she made video from kaufland kaufland is basically like uh, your walmart or i don't know what you have in canada we see that her video production is is very high <laughs> and basically in this video she will show you what she bought in kaufland in walmart what probably i'd say that her main platform wasn't youtube but tiktok where people for some unknown reason gifted her a lot of a lot of gifts no filters at all this stuff i showed you so far was still nothing adele same as many other women many other influencers has a disease called oversharing. She shares everything on social media, especially on TikTok, and those TikTok live streams were sometimes really spicy. <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll get to that. Wait, wait. <laughs> now it's time for my favorite part when it comes to Shopaholic Adele. The financial literacy for Shopaholic Adele is kind of like an unknown world. We saw her content, how the content looks like. Those videos are super low quality. You know what she bought? A new iMac which sells for at least $1300 and this is the lowest specification you can buy I don't know what version she bought but stupid or for example she bought because she's apparently a big Apple lover a new iPhone 15 just iPhone 15 not 15 Pro why her videos on the YouTube are uploaded oftentimes in 720p by the way both of these Apple products guess what she doesn't have them anymore. <laughs> this is what happens when you have no financial literacy. But to be fair, I think that a lot of people, if they would get into her situation, getting a lot of money super quickly, they wouldn't do any bad. Especially people that lived like her with pretty much nothing, with no money to spare. I, I will confess here, I was in a similar situation, but I've learned something from it, which is, I think, the most important thing when it comes to the situation, you know, she's still the same. Well, except she's not rich anymore, <laughs> but when I did my fuck up, when I received a m massive amount of money, I'm talking about $10,000, and spent it pretty much recklessly, let's say, now I know it was a stupid thing to do. At that time, I, I didn't think so, but now I know it. For some of you that are interested in, in cameras, lenses, I'm a big fan of, of this things so what? and to that what the fuck? and another lens Bruh. and my last purchase 
Oops. I spent for them a big portion of the $10,000. But you know, I'm an editor. I'm, I'm a cameraman. Or I used to be a cameraman. I was really interested in these things. Not anymore because I don't have money. <laughs> so at least for me, these purchases made sense. Not really price-wise, but... Um, I at least used them. Shopaholic Adel bought the new iMac just for browsing and putting a video into editing software, export and upload to YouTube. No edit whatsoever. As I said, the most important thing when it comes to these fuck-ups, you have to learn from them. The proof that she didn't learn anything from her mistakes is this video, for example. Fake AirPods for the 30th birthday, nine months ago. At this point, she was already at her downfall, I'd say. I, I don't really understand. Why would you buy fake AirPods when your income is drastically falling down? And then, two months later, she bought, for example, a MacBook for $300. This is two months later after that video, which means that her income was even small and still she spends for she spends them for so unnecessary things. But these were just a little things because as I said, when it comes to Shopolik Adel and real estate, that's a solid madness. <laughs> I mentioned her first apartment which she received from her mother. If you would suddenly appear in this situation, you would be hell glad that you have this apartment because uh, suddenly you have some options. You can, for example, sell it, invest it. I don't know. You can do something. You you can start saving money because you don't really have to pay rent anymore. Shopolik Adel, for some reason, sell it to some guy which which has to be really happy now because these days it, it happened like three four years ago so these days the price of the apartment has like doubled or tripled maybe even <laughs> that guy has to be really really happy because shopaholic adel sold the apartment for a half of the price you understand it i don't the second apartment was in prague prague is almost like another city <laughs> those prices for everything is like triple compared to the rest of the country still for some reason she went there and picked an apartment costing almost two thousand dollars a month <laughs> You know the reason why she picked it? Because it had nice doors. That apartment had like four or five rooms, I, I think. A balcony and, and, and yeah, just just super big apartment for one person. For example, I, in my case, I lived in an apartment that had, and I need to search it, 160 square feet. And I'm six foot two. I, I almost basically touched with my feet the opposite wall when I was sleeping. And I forgot the third and the last reason, I think, was that she has a lot of stuff. Had a lot of stuff. For example, getting rid of them is, it wasn't an option for her. And as you are probably guessing, from this point, she only went downwards. From this biggest apartment, uh, family friendly channel, <laughs> she went only to smaller and smaller. Not so long ago, like a few weeks back, she was seen living at, in some kind of backyard where a lot of drug addicts apparently <laughs> are meeting. <laughs> yeah. What else we got on the list? Financial literacy, animal. Aye, aye, aye. animals. <laughs> Shopolik Adel at the big at the beginning at the beginning had four animals: two rabbits, one guinea pig, and a duck. And as I said, the only one still living is the duck. Oh, the guinea pig was living its best life till Shopolik Adel wasn't moving to the to the biggest apartment as I mentioned because uh, for some reason the heating in that apartment wasn't working and this was in winter. Possibly this was the reason for Shopolik Adel and her boyfriend David. They decided to go to live in a cottage where they left a total mess. <laughs> The crucial information when it comes to the guinea pig is that the guinea pig wasn't at the car wasn't in the cottage. It was put in the non-heated apartment. Don't ask, don't ask me why. <laughs> don't, don't, just don't. I, don't. I don't know. And Chopolik Adele told us, Chopolik Adele, aka Master of Lying, she went there every day to replace its water, give it food. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> if I would be if I would be in the winter, in the woods, and someone would give me uh, food, water, but I would be only in t-shirt, I would die there. No, no matter the, if, I if I would have food or water. <laughs> and what do you think Adele told her fans? Do you think she told the truth? 
<laughs> she's a liar the rule number one are the lies a lot not always but a lot <laughs> she actually said that it felt from a counter instead of taking the guinea pig with her she put it in the non-heated apartment leaving it to die apparently every day it had a fresh water and food what actually came out to be to not be a truth i'm dying help me what made it even worse was her lying about it lying about how it died and the ultimate thing the reason why we know this is that Ad huh now check this out uh, uh, this is by the way my video but i decided to remake this video because the original one is, is kind of like for adhd kids <laughs> so you know people are obsessed with her there are groups uh, when it comes to real estate that warns each other each other that rents apartments y you don't really want to have in your apartment shopolik adele <laughs> And there's another group, a Facebook group. Basically, every move Shopolik Adele does, it's already in the group. For example, where Shopolik Adele lives. Somebody sees her on the, on the street, they will follow her to know where she lives. Boom, posted. So a random woman was walking by her place where she lived. For some reason, she, she digged into a trash can and found the guinea pig. Adele threw it with all the equipment next to the trash cans. No, that's so complicated. <gasps> then she had two rabbits. The first rabbit, uh, there are two scenarios. First one is that Adele uh, let it out in the winter into the woods. After the rabbit lived its whole life indoors. The second scenario is that she grabbed him by his ears and put it into the bathtub to know to find out how long it lasts under the water while showing it to her friends. First domestic rabbit died because of air freshener. Okay, sorry, that was the second one. The first one died because of air freshener. Either way, all these animals are gone. And her dog is the only one surprisingly still living. Yeah, surprisingly. Um, a lot of people sent on her like a veterinary control. These reports are and will be kind of pointless. Because if you report someone, the veterinary control has to warn you that they will come. Social public Adele just cleaned her apartment, made everything seem nice. Veterinary control came, saw nothing. It's good. False report. In my opinion, it's just a matter of time when even he will leave this world because it's questionable how she takes care of him. This dark facial expressions uh, told us in many videos that he's not really happy with her. This behavior doesn't seem... You see his eyes? <laughs> There's so much more info, but I would end this chapter with this conspiracy theory of this all happening because she couldn't take, because she couldn't have them in this new apartment. So she got rid of them. Or like they may be allowed only one, and so that's why her dog is still alive. It's a conspiracy theory, but I wouldn't be surprised if it would be truth. So these were the animals. Now it's time for boyfriends. And another shit fest. <laughs> she had in total, uh, according to my knowledge, five boyfriends. Yes. This woman, I, I, I will sound maybe a little bit cruel. Looking at Chopolik Adele, we can agree on that uh, a nature can be really, really nasty, really cruel <laughs> to some people. Well, it is kind of like a friendly fire because I'm not a Brad Pitt too. But if this woman can have five boyfriends in a matter of three years, two years maybe, you can too. Here, here we got David. This is David. Uh, this is her first boyfriend and the boyfriend she was the longest with. When it comes to Chopolik Adele's boyfriends, there is a certain like pattern. Firstly, she tells us how much she's in love with him, like how she will how she will marry him, that he's the best man on earth. Uh, a few months later, boom, breakup. We with Honzo will stay on the because Honza is finally in my skoro 30 years. Finally, the right And slowly over time, you see the change in her behavior. Nemluv vůbec na mě, jsem na tebe už alergická. Jdeš nebo ne? Nemůžu ne. Nešvi na mě, až se sklidníš. Yeah, this is a definition of shouting. <laughs> Guy says, I can't write. Don't shout at me. Nemůžu ne. Nebudeš na mě tady na pusu. A co já jsem, abych čekala? Je to můj byt. The first boyfriend. You see, this is what I was talking about. Firstly, she's I'm so in love with him, and and the and the second week, you mother. F the first boyfriend, David, was under her control like completely for 150%. Ten stress, ten tlak, který byl na mě vyvíjen z adenní strany, byl hrozný. 
Bylo to hrůzná děs. She regularly checked his phone. She didn't let him find a job. He was fed mostly by McDonald's and overall he had to be quiet and do what she told him to do. Typically, Chopolik Adele's boyfriends are quite like submissive, but it doesn't really matter because she broke up with every single one of them, even with one that wasn't like submissive and he and he constantly tried to fix her, fix her. <laughs> I, I just don't know why these guys <laughs> Let's think about it, guys. You see this woman online. You see what she does. You see how financial literacy is for her unknown world. So tell me, why somebody even tries to be with her? For example, when he wanted to take his own water from fridge, he had to ask her. Otherwise, he would be yelled at. Ano, musel jsem se ptát. Musel jsem se na všechno ptát. Musel jsem se ptát i na... To jestli si vůbec můžu říct ledničky vodu, kterou jsem, si tam, kterou jsem si tam dal třeba před deseti minutami, aby jsem si ji vůbec jako nechal vychladit. Já jsem chtěl jí dělat v ostrahu, chtěl jsem jí dělat do krámu, ona řekla, že ne, že prostě budu v kanclu, ale dávala mi práce podle sebe, ne podle mě. Ano, dávala mi najíst většinou mekáč, jenom čistě a občas něco jako hobiná, nějaký normální jídlo. So this was David, with who she had the longest relationship. After they broke up, the same or the day after, she had another boyfriend, Honza. The second boyfriend Honza came into this game the same day or <laughs> into this game <laughs> or, or the day after Adele broke up with David which was really sus anyways mm -hmm. he had the same experience with this info trash <laughs> uh, this curve perfectly represents uh, in in this relationship it was really funny because at the beginning they were so in love boom break up but after the breakup they got together again and engaged <laughs> their relationship one week they broke up almost okay sorry they didn't break up but almost break up and the next one they engaged and started planning a baby <laughs> after a month or two they were together i wouldn't plan baby even after two or three years well in the best scenario i don't want to have kids <laughs> TikTok live streams you're about to see will perfectly show you that this woman is really crazy. And I recommend you, especially the first one, to carefully watch how she changes in instance her behavior. Ah, this is so iconic live stream a few days before they break up, like truly break up. I think that you don't really have to read the subtitles, but you, you can, of course, listen carefully how she instantly changes from crying or like begging him to be angry. Ale si, že mě nebolí, jak mě furt ponižuje. Mě ponižuješ? A dej si mi bez tebe, chápeš to? Tak se ke mně začí chovat. Tak se ke mně začí chovat. Aha. Ty mi furt nedáváš. Ty mě taky, ale. No až potom co začíš tady. Zlato, prosím, já chci být s tebou. Zlato. Já ne. Já chci být s tebou. Are you fucking kidding me? I know I will treat you better. Já nevím, jestli to bude chce být. Chováš se jako David teďka. Aha. Chováš, no. Ty jsi píču z totální. Jseš, no. Nech mě. Ne, prosím, já si veď s tebou, já bez tebe nechci mi, prosím, Honzo, prosím. Může si k tobě na, na stranu, aby mě nevěděli se mnou. Prosím. Jsi sedni, ale mlč. Nebudu sticha, ty mlč. Honza, I love you, please, don't, don't leave me, don't. Ok, sit down. I won't sit down. Where these people come from? Plus also if you read those subtitles you know that she tried to put uh, to put all problems to blame only him. She's perfect. I'm perfect. You are the one who is the problem. She's a really nasty stupid ugly piece of ass. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this live stream is on on Christmas. A really great time to argue. What a beautiful day to yes. have an argument. <laughs> Anyways, the full live stream has 40 minutes, so to shorten it up, Honza again was doing nothing. He was playing with this something, I don't know what is it. And meanwhile that Adele did her basic crazy stuff. And this is what happened after <laughs> basic crazy stuff. That everybody had enough of her shit. <laughs> Je konec, já s ní končím, sokundou, vyjebanou.
Now you know why is there that group of people that own apartments warning each other. This is the third one, the third Shoporic Adele's boyfriend, which is the one who wasn't really submissive, was was the least submissive guy she she was with. It didn't last long, <laughs> maybe like three months, maybe even less. I don't know, like who would be with this woman after all this that happened. Yeah. That's a good point, like, as I said. These people that sleep with her gotta do it for views. Like, I sleep with your public Adele. Anyways, after this one, she was with another for like a month, maybe, maybe, a, maybe even a week. The next topic are people which are so obsessed with Chopalik Adele, as I said. Recently, one guy decided to go to her location where she lives now uh, to film her. So he firstly walks around the village and then he sees Shopolik Adele with uh, some other guys that uh, looked really shady. It is it is basically like he's a paparazzi because he's filming her from car. Uh, here, here is the shot of Shopolik Adele that looks really like she's a homeless, homeless woman. Uh, these are the guys. People are crazy. <laughs> what can I say? Like Shopolik Adele is truly a bad person, but filming her on the street, like, Man, what are you doing with your life? Further in the video, he shows us the apartment where she lived, apparently, or lives. I, I don't know, guys. <laughs> There's so much lore to Shopolik Adele. He films her from behind the fence, and then he walks super close to her car, showing stuff inside. <laughs> I see these people have nothing better to do in their lives than hunting Shopolik Adele. And I'd like to end this video by this frame, by this picture of Shopolik Adele being basically homeless. You know, this is what happens when you suddenly have a lot of cash and no financial literacy. She went from buying iMac, a new iPhone 15, living in super big apartment to this. Being homeless and living on, on some kind of backyard full of track addicts. Bizarre people will always end, of course, one will end sooner, one later. And so by that said, I believe that Foodie Beauty's end will come soon. Uh, her prime is for sure a long time gone. The question is if the end will be made by her or by the diseases she has.